Fidelity has recently launched a new system, uh, which is named iProtect. And iProtect represents a, a very important moment for Beretta because it's the entrance of Beretta into the digital world. Why this? What does it mean? This it means that uh, we have applied some very, very high-tech uh, technologies into the firearms in order to have a digitalized gun, but this uh, not interfering with what is the, uh, the use of the gun in the normal activities. What does it mean in practical? In practical, we have an electronics, an electronic system into the gun. This electronic system, thanks to sensors and different things, is able to detect certain kind of operations and situations that may occur in the pistol and transfer those information to a higher level of command. This not interfering at all the mechanics means that the police forces can use the pistol in any case, can shoot this independently on any, of any uh, transmission of data and information from the pistol itself. The pistol goes in connection with a t-shirt which is sensorized. This will aim to get farther than information from the gun, also all the information regarding the human being situation and status, which means heart rate, temperature, positioning and so on. All those information are transferred to a higher level thanks to standard technology, which means a smart telephone, by, the use of, by using a standard and commercial technology like that 3G, and this allows basically the transferring of uh, all the alarm, all the unconventional situation that may occur to a higher level. So to, to transferring this, this technology into the real world, what does it mean? It means that uh, nowadays uh, one of the problems we recognize in the police force's duty is that the control, the command and control information are basically stopping at uh, the car. So at the car at the platform you have all the means of communication and information, but then when the operators go by themselves and work by themselves, in this stage they are, they are alone. So if something strange occurs, for example, the, uh, the, the officers take the pistols and start to shoot. In this case, for sure, a non-conventional situation or an alarm has been generated because it's something that is happening. When this is happening, this information goes directly to the central station that gets a red sign, for example, or different kind of signs, this can be agreed, that says practically, be careful, but that uh, this policeman, name uh, and surname, so we have all the data, that is in this specific location, because we also have geolocalization, is uh, acting, is running, uh, is extracting the pistols, is shooting, uh, or has been shot, or is laying down, uh, is not breathing, is breathing uh, in a div uh, with difficulties, uh, their rate has changed. So all those stuff, all those issues that are unconventional are immediately transferred. This is very important because in a practical matters, uh, this provides immediate help in the near, uh, near real-time world because all the information are transferred near real-time, so really immediately, and everybody concerned is able to react to whatever is happening. And this for the benefit of the officer itself, but also of the community, so improving the safety. So all the data that, I was, uh, that, that we collect from the pistol, from the t-shirt, sensorized t-shirt, then are collected, as I was saying before, are collected and transferred to a command, a command and control center. This is the interface. Uh, it's a very large interface, but for sure we can size this according to the need. And here we can easily see, uh, first of all, the geolocalization, which is very important, because we practically know exactly where each police officer is located thanks to the geolocalization. In addition to this, we know also the status, because we see which are the physical status, so now the operator is standing up, and the operator, you know, the, the operator is standing up, the operator is also now laying down, and the system clearly shows what is the situation. And if it's down, for sure this can generate an alarm. The alarm generation has to be agreed with the concerned customers because for sure the level of alarm should be judged according to the customer uh, uh, operations they use during the methodology action, you know, evaluation. But also very important is on the pistol because the major issue is what's happening on the pistols. So basically now uh, the lady has the pistol in, in her hands and we have the message, the information that says the gun is in the hand. Now we do other operations, for example, we remove the safety. 
that is another operation that in the field means something specific. Also in this case, then we have the alarm, the information that the safety is off. Then we proceed, we, now we are harming the pistol, so maybe we are getting into a much difficult situation where the, the, the officer is almost ready to shoot. And also in this case, the headquarters knows that these officers in this specific location, in this time, is having troubles, in, is ready to shoot. Once he shoots, then you have the red light, which means that uh, something happens. This is a very, very basic, so for sure, uh, as you can imagine, this, uh, we are providing a very huge number of data of, of, uh, and that needs to be transformed into information by a dedicated software, dedicated modules that allow us to help the officers, the operator, to discriminate and to have only all those data that are real information needed. And all the system is automatic and goes in con uh, and works together with any kind of system actually in place, any kind of command and control systems. And in this specific case, uh, our uh, PIX4I, this is the name we may, uh, of our pistol with sensor, as well as our B0I, which is the T-shirt sensor eyes, work uh, within the uh, framework uh, made by the company Intellitronica that, uh, that is actually in use to the Carabinieri and Polizia uh, in, in Italy. It means that uh, proven system, they are made to manage alarms and to provide certain kind of features and we integrated all the system into this much bigger world. For sure then the advantage is that, uh, is that thanks all the information transferred as I said before to a standard telephone. This telephone may, is used to manage, as I said, all this, the gun and so on, but also to be connected with the central station. So all those information that uh, today were, were available only within the car, now are available at each single officer's level. They can access database, can uh, send alarms, can, uh, can, they, can do a number of operations, now uh, very difficult to make at individual level.